Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and it's time for a love read for you. Let's see what's going on in your love life Cancer, how you're feeling, how your partner's feeling and what your mutual energies are. And these are general collective readings Cancer, will not resonate with each and every one of you so take what works for you and leave the rest. And this card popped out uh, Cancer even before we started the reading so this is a beautiful um, card of the four of wands which is the forever forever twin flame soulmates so let's just put this card here and wonder why this is here so out in the game already so as i was saying these are general collective readings cancer will not resonate with each and every one of you so take what works for you and just leave the rest so let's begin let's see what's coming up for your love life now my angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for my cancer gang and bless them with the messages they need to hear the most at this time. Thank you. So cancer, as always, we're going to start this with an angel blessing card to top the reading. See how my angels are going to bless it and then we'll take it on from there. So my angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for my cancer gang. Send them the message they need to hear or a blessing or an advice card for what they need, need at the moment blessing advice or a message for my cancer gang so this one all right let's keep this here cancer put the rest back and the card i have for you cancer is the beautiful card of love okay so for a love reading to get a card of love is fabulous i think another sign got it recently was it leo I don't remember but uh, yes to get this card out for a love reading is like fabulous and then you have the four 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 as well right uh, the four of one sorry the uh, 11 11 card which is a beautiful card which goes so beautifully with the love card so welcome back all my subscribers thank you thank you for being here thank you for all the support to the channel your donations your likes your comments are very very appreciated and i'm very grateful for all of that and uh, if you're new here we welcome you to our channel if you enjoy the reading do subscribe and become part of us so cancer let's see how you're doing how your partner's doing what advice we can get and we'll also do some dialogue messages today to see what you guys would like to say to each other given a chance so newbies here are two sets of cards one side is for you one side is for your person and in the center we'll have your mutual energies or guidance or any advice and if you want a private reading of course my email is in the description box below where you can reach me or in the about section of the channel all right bottom of the deck cancer i have the eight of swords so i think the only thing which is uh, troublesome in your love life right now seems to be a self-imposed prison you are worrying you're stressed out but uh, it's all self-imposed cancer there is nobody holding you down here except your own thoughts about oh, what will happen what won't happen i mean all you have to do is remove the blindfold and walk straight out of those swords right so this is uh, this happens when you overthink a situation so let's keep this here and let's start with some dialogue messages to see if you had to say something to your partner or them to you what would that be your hidden feelings so what would cancer want to say spirit or their partner what would they like to say to each other now what would cancer or their partner like to say to each other spirit okay i've got three already and let's take three more from a different deck uh, cancer one two one more spirit one more card okay so have okay we'll take one more one more spirit all right and here we have them so the first card i have for you here, here cancer it says no matter how complicated this gets i won't ever give up on you or us 
so i don't know what's happening between you and your uh, partner here cancer but yes if things do get messy and things do get into trouble you guys somehow manage to come back together because one partner says i know it gets complicated but you know we are really important and uh, yes i'm not going to give up on you or us or this relationship okay second card says being one with you is intimately being one with you intimately is home to me i desire to be one with you and home with you the thought of another one with you kills me you are mine okay so this is uh, this is what one person is saying that you feel like home you are who i have been born to be with and uh, even the thought of somebody er else sharing your heart which is my home it doesn't seem good to me right so the next card says uh, every night i just want to be home home is in your arms again the, the reference to the uh, four of wands is here cancer uh, somebody is a home body here or just wants a home in your heart in your arms and uh, they feel more safe and secure then even when things go wrong they know ultimately all they want to be or do is be with you and vice versa or vice versa right so this home feeling is very important let's see the next card your inconsistent behavior has caused my family to have concerns and trust issues regarding you this this has now created another barrier for us to navigate and overcome so whatever camp complications are going on i think there's uh, there's still a lot of deep love and attachment between the two of you yes there are complications but that has not deterred either of you from wanting to be with each other or feeling ultimately you're meant to be with each other okay next card says my mind is in turmoil trying to figure out how i can fix the mess i have made I'm suffering from sleepless nights and feeling very low and anxious. So, whatever complications, whatever mess has been created, I don't know what it is, Cancer. Each of you will are going to have a different story, right? But uh, yes, there is misery here because uh, they want to be home, or you want to be home with them in their arms, in their heart, all the time. Next card. The silence is so unbearable between us. I wonder if you are punishing me because of the 3D challenges or did I push you away due to believing the obstacles in our lives were too great to overcome? I surrender and trust in God and divine timing. If it's meant to be, it will be. So the hope hasn't died here even though yes there have been challenges maybe somebody's family or uh, friends have uh, kind of interfered in the relationship maybe one partner created a mess maybe there's no talking happening at the moment but uh, you both really know and wish and hope one day to come back into this soul beautiful soulmate union you guys have going and there's there is of course a lot of stress here as well okay there's a lot of uh, sleepless nights and stress and tension last card says cancer when i miss you i don't have to go out i just have to look within my heart and soul because that's where you are again another reference to feeling at home with you so yes this is a beautiful connection there are some 3d challenges going on let's see what those are and at least one partner is feeling very upset that may they feel maybe they've created this mess and uh, they are miserable about it so the love is there the feeling is there the feeling of being in each other's arms is there but there are some challenges let's see what those are so cancer by now you know whether this is uh, your reading if it is let's continue and see where we going from here seven of wands four of swords six of swords ace of cups knight of cups and the 10 of swords all right let's see person b the queen of cups cancer uh page of cups 10 of wands four of swords ace of swords and the ace of wands lot of aces here cancer i have one 
two and three aces here already the only one missing is the ace of pentacles but then we don't really need that right now right because this is a love reading so we have the love we have the clarity and we have the passion and they're all in aces which is fabulous to see so let's see let's start with the energy uh, cancer for this reading i'll be referring this side is person a this is person b for me so you decide which side you resonate best with okay so for person a the first card i have is the seven of wands yes uh, somebody is uh, maybe there's been some issues here where some barriers have come between uh, you and your partner right now maybe there's been a little bit of a fight maybe some harsh words were spoken somebody went the wrong direction here and the other person has now put up uh, a few barriers here but there is a lot of uh, contemplation healing thinking about uh, how things have kind of not worked out some whatever has happened between the two of you at least person a is still kind of thinking about it wrapped up in the memories of the past which unfortunately are not seeming that good right now because there may have been an argument or a fight which has forced one person to kind of put, put up barriers here they are so wishing to come out of this turmoil and uh, come to a calmer and happier space in their life. They know they probably caused it, right? They, they are kind of blaming themselves that, oh my God, maybe I'm the cause of this fight and uh, I've lost the love uh, that I so desire. My Two of Cups is now not in um, the upright right now uh, maybe i didn't put in enough work in this uh, connection but uh, person a really does want to come out of this hangman's place now they're enlightened to the fact yes i do love this per person b very much there's a big 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 cup of love here and whatever has happened has um, kind of is making person a feel really bad they feel they feel that it's their fault and they also realize that maybe they said something which was harsh maybe they put up some barriers maybe they didn't put in enough work but they so desire to now get out of this uh, trouble times and uh, offer their love to their partner who because without uh, their partner i think they feel that even if they tried to win they still lost okay this is a lose lose situation not to be with their partner they really want to come towards their partner now with the offer of love and uh, yes they're feeling really really sad and depressed and upset but they are now planning they have uh, the world in their hands and the two wands there and they're standing here thinking what is my next move what should i do how can i go towards my partner and offer them my love now but they are scared right now because they feel maybe you know things are over things uh, may not ever come back together they're feeling sad they feel uh, it's time for them to uh, be clear in their conversation i think whatever secrets uh, have been there between the two of you cancer somebody wants to expose all and shed light to it okay and they want to bring an end to all the suffering that there is between the two of you this person really w wishes to come uh, towards their partner and offer some kind of a apology or a love offer or something they don't want to keep things hidden anymore they feel really down and out so why why, why is the ten of swords here spirit why is the ten of swords here because things have really ended or things have stagnated at the moment uh, they this person a is the one who's been feeling trapped in their mind maybe they were overthinking it maybe maybe they were uh, stressing too much about it but person a does want to now remove this blindfold and uh, kind of end the suffering between the two of you now they want to come and speak their heart they don't want anything hidden anymore between the two of you let's see person b person b has the queen of cups so yes there is a lot of love there is a lot of uh, caring that person b also feels i think for person a but right now they feel things are really not in balance maybe they're waiting for an apology they're waiting for um, somebody to come towards them and uh, balance out this you know dynamic between the two of you they feel that till now whatever promises have been made by person a to person b they've all been false nothing has really fruitified everything has been like a joke right and uh, they feel compelled now to uh, not show their love too, too much now 
till an, till a, till an apology really comes towards them now person b has their sword up and says hey listen i am not going to keep giving off my love just like that uh, things are not balanced whatever you've said till now has been false and wrong right so now i am going to be very discerning uh, i need communication from you which is correct and true and i'm going to be asking the questions so you have to come to me clean and clear maybe with an apology because i'm feeling very very burdened person b is also feeling very sad very burdened very lost feeling neglected and uh, they are on that phase of their life that they feel that if you know things are not made clear now to me if things are not uh, brought out in the open i am kind of feeling that tired of this relationship that maybe it's time for me to let go of my burden yes i want clarity in my life or i'm not accepting any half baked love offer anymore i want clarity i want passion oh my god the minute i said that i want clarity and i want passion yes this person has a lot of um, they want a new beginning with person a but they want it in a pure open and clean way they don't want things to go the way they were uh things not said things hidden uh messes being created as we saw in the message cards so they're saying hey let's you know we have so much between us why can't you just tell me straight straight off be clear with me have a clear conversation this is what i want with the queen of swords energy yes i love you but i don't trust you anymore because till now whatever you've said or done hasn't really been you know shown up for me in the 3d world so let's see uh why are they sitting in the four of cups energy spirit why is person b sitting in the four of cups energy they are not uh, accepting any offers neither from person a neither are they interested in accepting offers from anyone else they are just sitting and feeling sad at the moment to be honest because they are waiting also they have a fear of letting go of person a completely they feel they kind of losing hope but they haven't let go completely either they are still waiting i think for an apology or some communication from person a and uh, not really making a move because they feel it's not it's not up to them yes yeah, somebody else has to come towards them have this communication and uh, kind of make a decision regarding them or regarding the connection so ace of wands spirit why is person b in the ace of wands energy they want a new beginning person b heart of hearts is waiting for that clear communication waiting for somebody to make a decision because in the heart of hearts they have a lot of passion for person a they see them as their 10 of cups their wish fulfill wish fulfillment their happily ever after their 11 11 their home they wish to be back in their arms and uh, yes yeah, start something fresh and new which is full of love right but till now i think because of whatever has happened uh, person b has ki is kind of slowly losing hope uh, because of lack of uh, clarity in communication so let's see what's happening in your mutual energies here uh, cancer hanged man page of swords and the 10 of pentacles wow So yes I think both in our in your separate corners are getting enlightened right now there may maybe a little bit of a pause going on but sooner than later I think uh, cancer you or both of you are going to stop juggling or going back and forth because the minute you get that aha moment that oh my god I know what I have to do or I know what I have to say all this going back and forth is going to finally end okay but till then I think uh, still you people are still kind of separately thinking about this relationship there's a lot of spying a lot of thinking a lot of uh, maybe stalking each other on social media going on wondering if this uh, is ever going to fructify right at the moment it may not feel like it even though this is wanted this may not be felt right now because uh, communication is not that great and uh, instead of actually having Uh, a conversation you both are just kind of trying to keep an eye or trying to get information or um, this is like the spy card who stands on the sidelines and just kind of sees when is the right time for me to approach or what is the other person doing um, 
just a lot of spying and checking out. So what's this page of swords, Spirit? Page of swords. Waiting for the right time. All right, Wheel of Fortune. Because things have totally ended or stagnated at the moment, somebody here or maybe both of you are waiting and looking who is going to make the first move. Things have really stopped here. Waiting for the Wheel of Fortune, waiting for luck to be on their side, waiting for divine timing to see when is the right time to approach the other to get this momentum going again. So, Ten of Pentacles, Spirit. Ten of Pentacles. Too many cards. Ten of Pentacles, Spirit. Ten of Pentacles. This card came out, I put her back and she's back again, okay? So yeah, somebody does see the other one as their perfect spouse. The one who is spouse material, perfect partner material. But right now, I think the only thing which is stopping this person from coming forward is because the lack of communication. And they don't want to come and say something which will make them sound or look foolish, okay? That's why they're waiting and watching. Heart of Hearts, or very soon, I think, they will be coming forward with some kind of an apology. And this apology, Cancer, if communicated well, could turn, it, could turn into a commitment of long-term happiness. So this is what uh, this apology is going to be all about. So there may be a little bit of a time lapse going on because this person is still trying to find the right words to come, uh, come towards their partner because they don't want to kind of say something wrong or do something foolish and uh, drive their person away. So once this communication comes the correct way, Cancer, there is a full, full, full possibility of luck again being with you, the Wheel of Fortune moving in your favor, maybe even having all your dreams come true with the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant card here. So love is in the air. Get out of your heads, Cancer, or your cross watcher, whoever you know you're dealing with. Come together and have clear communication because home is where the heart is. All right. So you both know where you belong. It's just that you haven't been able to communicate that properly. So that's all I have for you, Cancer. I hope it worked. Love and light. Namaste.